Welcome back to Camp Out West. If you're new here, we're John and Emily, and we sold everything we owned to buy this abandoned caravan park so we could follow our dream of living within our means, self-build our own mortgage-free tiny home, and become more self-sufficient as we learn to grow and preserve our own food. So we hope you enjoy watching today's episode as we continue working hard alongside our full-time jobs as we turn this once forgotten land into our dream home. Welcome back to Camp Out West. If you watch our channel regularly, you would have seen we recently built a greenhouse on the land so we can really focus on growing our own food this year. And yesterday on Facebook, we saw one of our local plant nurseries is actually closing down as they're retiring and they're selling off all of their old things to the local growing community. So we decided to head on down there to see what we could get secondhand to help us on the land. The plant nursery was like Aladdin's cave. It was filled to the brim of growing supplies. They had been hit pretty hard by some of the recent storms, but the owner was so happy to see everything going to new homes and his tools and supplies he'd collected over the years not go to waste. John was pretty interested in this mini compact tractor, but in the end we just bought some shelving for the greenhouse and lots of different plug trays and pots. The first job when we got home was to give them a good clean up. So I'm just going to try and work out how many of my staging I bought can actually fit in the greenhouse. I don't actually need that much space and each of these I think can fit about four different levels on it. So that should be able to do a lot of seeds. So I'm just going to see how many I can get in. I'm hoping I can get all four of them. They're a bit wider than I thought. I thought I'd be able to fit one down here, one across here, and one down here, but there's not enough space there. So I think I might just do two either side and then maybe stack two on top of each other so I can make the most of the height of the greenhouse. So we haven't got enough of the actual completed shelves. The guy did give us the, the metal frames, like just these pieces. So what we're gonna do is just get the dimensions of this, use this old piece of ply that we got uh, with one of our deliveries and just make a couple of shelves. While John was making the shelf inserts, I gave the plug trays a good rinse off.
Mm-hmm. Makes sense. Now our shelves were set up, it was time to make use of our new growing space. If you watched the last episode, you would have seen us put our roof trusses up onto our cabin. And pretty much every day since then, it's rained. But um, you'd be glad to know, now that we've got a structure, we've been able to put a massive tarp over the whole thing. So we've actually been able to keep the inside of the cabin dry, which is really good. So the next stage of the cabin build will be boarding out the roof with OSB and then putting the waterproof membrane over the top. But ideally we need sort of two consecutive dry days to do so, which we haven't had. Uh, otherwise we're just going to ruin our material. So while we're kind of in and out of the rain showers, we're going to do a job today which we've been thinking about doing for ages. Um, we worked out that we spend about £35 or more a week on our washing, so we go to the local laundrette. Um, and as you imagine, we live in a field in a small little space with a dog, so we're constantly washing our clothes. So our plan today is we're going to build a mini little shack to do our laundry on this concrete slab that I'm stood on. The main reason we've decided to do this now is the brand Anchor have kindly sent us their new battery solar generator and this one has a 6000 watt inverter on it so that's an incredible amount of power that it can run and with the current power setup that we've got on the land we haven't been able to power these types of items so this is kind of a game changer for us meaning that we can have these sort of home comforts on the land. We're going to make this out of all the leftover materials from the project so far so we've got some of the framing material left over from the greenhouse We've got some of the 9mm OSB that we were using to board up the cabin and then we've got the house wrap and then we've got all the nails so we're going to try and do this for next to nothing and hopefully it's going to improve our lives quite a lot. The way that we're going to make the base for this, we figure it's going to be heavy enough once we put tumble dryer, washing machine and the battery pack inside. So we've just got these 4x4 fence posts we had left over from making the deck in. So we've cut these into 1.2 length, so we're going to have three of these as our base. I'm going to take some of this DPM, which we used for sighting the chassis, I'm just going to tack it on the top and that's going to stop water wicking up from underneath. So that's our first job. Our land has a few of these old concrete bases from where the old caravan outhouses used to be back in the 50s. We thought here would be the perfect spot as we could run the washing machine wastewater directly into the old sewers below.
We're excited to introduce today's video sponsor, Anchor. If you've watched our channel for a while, you'll see that we're big fans of Anchor. We already have the F2000 portable power station, which we've been using to power our tools for our tiny house build. And today we're excited to introduce you to their newest generator, the Anchor Solix F3800. Which is one of the most accessible home power systems on the market. We've been using the F3800 in this video to power all our tools to build our laundry area. And we're using them to power our washing machine and tumble dryer on the site. And what sets this apart from other generators on the market is its massive 6,000 watt power output. Not forgetting you also have the flexibility of adding on additional batteries, increasing the capacity to over 26,000 watt hours, which is enough to power the average household for one week. It's the ultimate home backup system. You can even use it to charge your electric car or your motorhome. It's actually unbelievable how much power you can get from this. What we love about Anker is that their products are designed to last. The F3800 has a lifespan of up to 10 years with everyday use. It uses EV class LifePo 4 batteries, which have 3000 charge cycles. And Anker use industrial grade electronic components, which last up to six times longer than other brands on the market. You can charge it up to 80% in one hour from the mains, and it can support up to 2400 watts of solar input. And with that, it can charge fully in 1.8 hours. It also has smart temperature control which keeps batteries healthy and protected for longer. For a generator of this size, we couldn't get over how portable it was. We love the sleek design, easy to use handle and added brakes on its wheels. Anker also sent us their 400 watt foldable solar panel which we're using on our laundry station. We love how lightweight it is, making it extremely portable weighing only 18 kilos. It also has an IP67 waterproof rated design, which is essential for us on the land. The solar panels are easy to adjust, offering three different angles to help capture direct rays for maximum charge, and it has up to 23% conversion efficiency with 1.5 times faster charging thanks to its powerful sunlight trapping surface. The Anker Solix F3800 generator, combined with a 400 watt solar panel, have been a game changer for us on the land. To find out more, head to the link in our description. Thanks again to Anchor for sponsoring today's video. This is where we're at with our little laundry build. Um, today is one of those days where we're getting all of the weather. So we're getting sun, rain, sun, rain. So we keep having to down tools, cover things up. 
but we've managed to wrap it with a, a house wrap. So some of this is the stuff off the cabin, we've got a massive roll of, and this stuff is actually stuff from our old shed build from I think five years ago. So like we said from the start, we're trying to use up all of our leftover pieces of material to make this, so it's not really costing us that much. Uh, we have just come back though, we've just gone and got some hardware. Um, as this is gonna have a washing machine and a tumble dryer and a battery system, we wanna make sure it doesn't get too hot in here. So we're gonna put these metal louvered vents both sides, and then we've got an output vent then, like a gravity vent for the actual tumble dryer. So we're gonna stick them on now, and then we're gonna put, it's funny, we, we haven't really got like batten we want to waste, we've got it, we're keeping it for the roof, but we've got loads of tiny pieces of batten. So we're going to batten the whole building using our offcuts. So that is literal waste. So that's going to be our job after we've fitted our vents. And then we're going to put some cladding on it. We just got back to the land, we've been with a trailer and collected our washing machine and our tumble dryer but um, the weather has fully set in, I think it's supposed to set I guess for the rest of the day so I've put a tarp up, show what I'm doing in here so I've got some of this clicked together, it's just foam matting uh, we have two packs of this left from our old shed build from years ago in our old house so I figured I'd put this on the floor in here and that would give us it might quieten down the washing machines, but also stop them sliding about. So make the most of the rain and uh, get something done. So our little hut is pretty much dry. 
while I wait to make my doors, I'm gonna put a wash on, so I'm not wasting time. I'm gonna put the battery in. This is exciting. First wash on the land. So we just finished our first load of washing on the land and it only used 33% of our battery, which is amazing. So I'm gonna get ready to do our first dry on the land. I think how much quicker it is not having to go to the laundrette. It's amazing. <laughs> Time to crack on and make some doors. That's our laundry setup all complete. Um, I have to sand a couple of bits on the doors to make them close nicely, but uh, that's all working now. Um, we put roofing felt on the top, just the cheapest sort of option we could go with for the roof, and it's all nice and weatherproof. It's all looking tidy. Uh, we've done, I think, three loads of washing now, and it's just great that we can just put it on and crack on with other things. So we've been on the site now for coming up two years. So that's two years we've been going to our local laundrette and spend in who knows how much money. So I'm um, glad that we don't have to go and waste our time and money doing that and we can uh, have our washing on site. But um, that's the end of today's video. We've actually got some good weather coming next week. So we're really looking forward to cracking on with the cabin and getting the spandrel panels built and boarding out the roof. So thank you very much for watching the video and we'll see you next time. Bye Maggie, beep beep, beep beep beep. <laughs> Thank you, load up. In. Who's in there? <laughs> hey, girl. <laughs>